Do you have a good day? Three-month-old Phoenix's repertoire of language has just expanded. His larynx has finally dropped at this age, and he's deeply engrossed in a conversation with his mother. As Phoenix vocalizes, his mother responds, affirming the communication, giving meaning to his utterances. Can you tell me all about it? Can you tell me about your day? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, What's yeah. being exchanged between Phoenix and his mother is not only in the voice or through words, but in the facial expression. And especially in the gaze of the eyes. Goodness. Facial expressions are mirrored. Smiles are exchanged. <laughs> Mother speaks. Baby responds. A rhythm is established. These are the rudimentary elements of conversation. But human communication is complex. And what researchers are discovering is just how early the baby human understands the signals for interaction. What are those unspoken elements that the baby human learns to read in another human face? Page. To answer that question, Darwin Muir constructed a series of four studies. Way up high in the apple tree. For the first experiment, Rachel's mother is sitting facing her daughter. She talks and sings and tries to engage her. Five-month-old Rachel looks like she's enjoying her mother's performance. Then suddenly, her mother's face goes completely still. Rachel smiles, makes noises, all in an effort of trying to communicate with her mother. When she finds that she can't elicit a response, she gets frustrated. Darwin Muir concluded that the reason she got upset was because her mother had broken the line of communication without warning. Hi, Bridget. How are you? Were you happy, baby? In the second part were of the experiment, six-month-old yeah. Bridget sits in front of a television Can monitor watching a projected image Can of her mother smile? who is seated in Can another room. A smile? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bridget laughs when she recognizes the face and voice of her mother. Hi. Hi. Then something unexpected happens. An upside-down image of her mother is projected. Bridget, look at mommy. Hi, sweetie. That's a good girl. Are you a good girl? Bridget stops smiling. Yeah? Can you see mommy? Mummy upside down. Upside down mummy upside doesn't down. look like mummy at all. Does she look funny? Hey? Yeah. Bridget can't interpret the inverted features as a face. The face simply becomes a peculiar object. Because she can no longer communicate with it, Bridget gets restless. Yeah, mummy's upside down. What do you think of that? <laughs> For the third of the four-part study, little Rachel watches a television monitor which displays a pre-recorded image. It's of a happy-faced researcher accompanied by her happy voice. You're such a wonderful baby. Yes, you are. Rachel is visibly delighted. But when the computer shows a sad face accompanied by a sad voice, Rachel's smile fades and she becomes a little more serious. You're such a wonderful baby. Yes, you 
Suddenly, the situation is switched. The happy face is accompanied by a sad voice. Can you tell me a story? Can you? Can you? Can you? Rachel looks confused. She knows there is something amiss. Yes, you are. You are. Do you like that? And when the sad face is mismatched with the happy voice, she responds with the same confusion and loses interest. The researchers concluded that the baby human at a remarkably young age is keenly attuned to emotional expressions in both the face and in the voice and knows that the emotion in the face and the voice are supposed to match. Hi, baby. The last part of the experiment involves eye gaze, a crucial part of human communication. Babies instinctively know that gazing is one of the ways to rivet the interest of adults and maintain a relationship. So Darwin Muir wanted to see how an infant responds when only eye contact is disrupted. Ashton's mother continues to speak without altering anything but her eyeline. At first, Ashton tries to get her mother's attention back, and when she can't, she gets upset. It showed the researchers that even something as small as the eyes play an essential role in human interaction. 